Have you ever watched the sun rise? The world is hushed. Darkness gives way to light. It feels like a fresh start. That's what prayer can be like. It's our own personal sunrise. We invite God's light into our hearts. Each day is a gift, a chance to start anew. But sometimes we wake up with worries. Our minds race with the day's to-do list. Prayer helps us pause. We remember what truly matters. When we pray, we connect with something bigger than ourselves. We acknowledge God's presence. This brings peace. It calms our fears. Prayer reminds us that we're not alone. Even when life is hard, prayer offers hope. It's a lifeline in stormy seas. So as you begin your day, take a moment to pray. Let it be your dawn of hope, a moment of peace before the day unfolds. Imagine a beautiful symphony. Each instrument plays its part. Together, they create a harmonious melody. Praise is like that. It's our way of joining the symphony of heaven. When we praise God, we acknowledge His goodness. We thank Him for His blessings. Even in difficult times, there's always something to be thankful for. Our health, our loved ones, the very breath we take. Psalm 108 is a powerful psalm of praise. It reminds us of God's love and faithfulness. King David, the writer, faced many challenges. Yet, he chose to praise God. David's praise wasn't about ignoring his problems. It was about remembering God's power, His love, His faithfulness. When we praise God, we shift our focus. We move from fear to faith. Prayer is often called the key to heaven's door. It's a beautiful image. When we pray, we open ourselves to God's presence. We invite Him into our hearts and lives. Praise is like turning the key. It unlocks the door to God's blessings. When we praise God, we acknowledge His sovereignty, His power. We recognize that He is in control. This doesn't mean life will be easy, but it does mean we'll have strength for the journey. Psalm 108 verse 1 says, My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing and make music with all my soul. David's heart was steadfast because he trusted in God. He knew that no matter what he faced, God was with him. When we praise God, we cultivate that same steadfastness. We find strength in His presence. Praise is more than just singing songs on a Sunday morning. It's an attitude of the heart, a way of life. When we praise God, we're not just reciting words. We're acknowledging a truth, a truth that changes everything. This truth is simple, yet profound. God is good. He is loving. He is faithful. And He deserves our praise. No matter what we're going through, this truth remains. When we focus on our problems, they seem to grow larger. They consume our thoughts. But when we shift our focus to God, something amazing happens. Our problems begin to shrink in comparison to His greatness. Praise has the power to transform our perspective. It lifts us out of despair and into a place of hope. It reminds us that we serve a God who is bigger than any problem we face. Imagine you're standing in a valley. All you can see are the towering mountains around you. 
they seem insurmountable. But what if you could climb to the highest peak? The view would be breathtaking. You'd see beyond the valley to the vastness of the world beyond. Praise is like climbing that mountain. It gives us a new perspective. When we focus on God's goodness, we rise above our circumstances. We see things from His point of view. Suddenly our problems don't seem so big anymore. We realize that God is in control. He has a plan, even when we can't see it. This shift in perspective brings peace. It calms our fears. It reminds us that we're not alone in our struggles. God is with us, and He will see us through. Gratitude is the language of praise. When we're thankful for what we have, it's easier to praise God. It's about noticing the good in our lives, even the small things. Maybe it's the warmth of the sun on our skin, the laughter of a loved one, or the simple act of taking a deep breath. When we cultivate an attitude of gratitude, we open our hearts to experience more joy. Gratitude unlocks the door to contentment. It helps us appreciate what we have instead of focusing on what we lack. And when we're content, it's easier to praise God from a sincere heart. The more we practice gratitude, the more we discover reasons to praise. It becomes a natural response to the goodness we encounter each day. Praise doesn't have to be loud or extravagant. It can be a quiet whisper of thanks, a song in your heart, a simple prayer of adoration. The key is that it comes from a place of genuine love and devotion to God. When we truly understand who He is and what He's done for us, praise flows naturally from our lips. Psalm 108 Verse 4 says, For great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. David understood the immensity of God's love. It surpassed anything he could imagine. As we meditate on God's character, our hearts overflow with praise we find ourselves wanting to express our gratitude for His goodness, His mercy, and His unfailing love. Psalm 108 begins with a powerful declaration. My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing and make music with all my soul. Imagine these words being sung by King David, a man after God's own heart. His life was a tapestry woven with threads of triumph and tribulation. Yet, he chose to begin this psalm with a resolute affirmation of praise. This wasn't merely a casual expression. It was a deliberate act of aligning his heart with God's. David understood that true praise originated from a steadfast spirit, a heart anchored in the faithfulness of God. He didn't wait for ideal circumstances or a surge of positive emotions. He chose to praise, and in doing so, he elevated his perspective and strengthened his resolve. This verse serves as a poignant reminder for us today. Life's journey is often marked by unexpected detours and unforeseen challenges. Yet, amidst the uncertainties, we can choose to echo David's declaration. We can choose to make praise our anthem, a song of ascent that lifts our spirits and draws us closer to the heart of God.
David continues in verse 2, Awake, harp, and lyre, I will awaken the dawn. This vivid imagery speaks of a faith that is active, vibrant, and expectant. David doesn't simply acknowledge God's presence. He actively engages with Him. He calls upon His instruments of praise, determined to awaken the very dawn with His worship. This speaks to the transformative power of praise. When we engage in genuine, heartfelt praise, we're not just making noise. We're partnering with the divine. We're stirring the spiritual atmosphere, creating space for God's presence to manifest in our lives and circumstances. David's eagerness to awaken the dawn reflects his unwavering faith. He understood that praise wasn't merely a response to blessings received. It was a catalyst for breakthroughs, a way to usher in God's favor and provision. Just as the rising sun dispels the darkness, David believed that his praise would herald a new day, a day filled with God's grace and guidance. It's intriguing that David specifically mentions the harp and lyre, instruments often associated with joy and celebration. This highlights a crucial aspect of praise. It's not limited to spoken or sung words. It encompasses every facet of our being, our talents, our resources, even our very lives can become instruments of praise. When we dedicate our abilities to God, using them to bless others and advance His kingdom, we become living instruments of His praise. Whether it's through acts of kindness, creative expressions, or sharing our faith, every effort made for His glory becomes a melody that reaches His ears. This concept extends beyond tangible skills to encompass our attitudes and interactions. A cheerful disposition, a forgiving spirit, a generous heart. These, too, become instruments of praise, radiating God's love and grace to a world hungry for hope and healing. In verse 3, David proclaims, I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. Here, his praise takes on a global dimension. He recognizes that God's love and power extend far beyond his personal sphere. He's compelled to share this truth with everyone, declaring God's greatness to the nations. This speaks to the contagious nature of genuine praise. When our hearts are overflowing with gratitude and awe for who God is, we can't help but share it with others. Our praise becomes a testimony, a beacon of hope that draws others to the source of our joy. Furthermore, David's declaration of praising God among the nations carries a sense of victory a confidence that transcends his present circumstances. It's as if he's already envisioning the fulfillment of God's promises, a time when all nations will recognize and worship the one true God. His praise is a declaration of faith in God's ultimate triumph, a celebration of victory won in advance. For great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies, David affirms in verse 4. He concludes this opening passage of Psalm 108 by magnifying God's immeasurable love and faithfulness. He paints a breathtaking picture of divine attributes that tower above human comprehension, 
a love so vast it surpasses the highest heavens, and a faithfulness that extends beyond the reach of the sky. This grand declaration serves as both a foundation and a catalyst for David's praise. He recognizes that his worship is not rooted in fleeting emotions or personal achievements, but in the unchanging character of God. It's this unshakable foundation that fuels his desire to praise, to declare God's goodness and faithfulness to all who will listen. And as we, like David, choose to center our lives on the steadfast love and faithfulness of God, our own praise will echo through the corridors of time, carrying with it the power to transform hearts, shift perspectives, and usher in His kingdom come. I once met a young woman named Sarah who worked as a nurse in a busy city hospital. Her days were filled with the constant demands of caring for the sick and the heartbroken. One day she shared with me her secret for staying afloat. Every morning before the sun rises, I offer my day to God. It's like a prayer. But more than that, it's a surrender. And you know what? He shows up. Every single day. Sometimes it's the strength to keep going. But he always shows up. Years ago, I faced an insurmountable situation. A mountain of worry loomed, casting doubt on everything I held dear. Fear whispered insidious lies, threatening my peace. One dark morning, a verse from Psalm 108 pierced my despair. Those words struck a deep chord. I realized I needed divine intervention. So I cried out to God. I acknowledged my weakness and dependence on His grace. And He answered, not as expected, but as needed. He gave me strength, wisdom, and assurance. I'll never forget the day I met an elderly gentleman named Mr. Thompson at a local nursing home. He was confined to a wheelchair, his body ravaged by time and illness. Yet, despite his physical limitations, his spirit shone with an inner radiance that captivated everyone he met. As I sat by his bedside, listening to him share stories of his life, I couldn't help but notice the constant refrain of praise that flowed from his lips. God is good, he would whisper, a gentle smile gracing his weathered features. He's good all the time. I learned that Mr. Thompson began each day with a song of praise, no matter how he felt physically. He said it reminded him that even amidst the storms of life, God's love remained a constant, a beacon of hope illuminating even the darkest night. His unwavering faith, his ability to find reasons for praise even in the midst of suffering, profoundly impacted me. It served as a powerful reminder that true joy isn't found in the absence of pain, but in the presence of God a presence that shines brightest in the darkness. One of the most remarkable transformations I've witnessed was in the life of a young man named Mark. He had always struggled with negativity, constantly comparing himself to others. Then he discovered the power of gratitude. He began writing down three things he was grateful for every morning. As he persisted, something shifted within him. His perspective began to change. The more grateful he became, the more he found to be grateful for. Mark's story is a testament to the transformative power of gratitude.
as we've journeyed through the powerful words of Psalm 108, we've uncovered a profound truth. Praise is not merely an act we perform. It's a symphony we conduct within the depths of our souls. It's a melody that resonates from a heart overflowing with gratitude, awe, and unwavering faith. When we awaken each day, choosing to greet the dawn with a song of praise, we invite God's presence into the very fabric of our lives. We acknowledge His sovereignty, His faithfulness, His infinite capacity to transform even the most challenging circumstances. This symphony of the soul doesn't require a stage, a microphone, or an audience. It's a private concert played out in the quiet chambers of our hearts, a harmonious blend of gratitude, humility, and joyful surrender. Imagine waking up each morning to the sound of birdsong, a symphony of trills and melodies celebrating the gift of a new day. That's the power of starting your day with praise. It's a way of joining the dawn chorus of creation, aligning your heart with the rhythm of heaven. Just as the rising sun chases away the shadows of night, Praise dispels the darkness of fear, doubt, and negativity. It floods our spirits with the light of God's love, reminding us that we are not alone in our struggles, that He is with us always, ready to empower and equip us for the journey ahead. This practice of starting your day with praise doesn't require hours of elaborate rituals. Even a few moments of heartfelt gratitude, a simple prayer of adoration, or a few verses of Scripture can set the tone for a day filled with purpose and peace. As we reflect on the lives of those who have gone before us, men and women like David, Sarah, Mr. Thompson, and Mark, we discover a common thread woven through their stories, a legacy of praise. Despite facing trials, uncertainties, and even despair, they chose to make praise their anthem, a source of strength, hope, and unwavering faith. Their stories remind us that a life characterized by praise is not a life devoid of challenges. It's a life that finds its anchor in something greater than itself. A life that draws its strength from the inexhaustible wellspring of God's love and faithfulness. And as we embrace the practice of starting our days with praise, we too become part of this legacy, passing on the torch of faith, hope, and unwavering trust to future generations. The beauty of praise is that it's a gift freely given and freely received. It doesn't require perfection, eloquence, or a melodious voice. All it requires is a willing heart, a heart that recognizes the goodness of God and longs to express its gratitude. So as you embark on a new day, I encourage you to make praise your compass your guide, your source of strength and inspiration. Let your heart become an instrument in the orchestra of heaven, your life a symphony of praise echoing the greatness and glory of God. For in the words of Psalm 108, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds, May your life become a testament to the transformative power of praise, a melody 
that resonates with his love and echoes through eternity.